Hi guys again, we're back at chill let's play. Meaning that we're about to kill some more motherfuckers. Are we gonna feel bad about it? No, we're Joe Davis. Fuck you mean. The gas slowly filling this room. Is this gas I smell? Don't worry. I've got it under control. You know, the one thing I hate about doing Let's Play is that you don't hear the loudness of it until you play the game. When you look at the Let's Play, it's not that fucking loud. I'm just like, what? What? This was blowing my fucking ear off. Cigarette? Oh, fuck yeah. Hey man, you can't smoke here. See that sign? Are you for real? Who gives a shit? Look, you'll just trigger off the fire alarms and the sprinklers. Do we really want to get drenched? Well, that would ruin my hair. There's a bathroom just there. Go smoke in the bathroom. Now that's a great idea. Laters. I'll set in motion according to plan. Man. Joe. Now he's half the man he used to be. Shut up, Joe. Just shut up. So like why didn't she close her eyes when he saw when she saw the mutilated body? See, just so I don't get her. Well done, Joe. I hope you're happy now. I I had to do this. Yeah, yeah. I know. But did I tell you I'm allergic to human intestines splattered all around me? You are? Just do what you gotta do and tell me when we're out of here. And... Stay close, please? You alright? No, I'm not alright. What happened? I tripped over some legs. Erickson, always an asshole. Even after death. I don't really want to talk about it. Let's just go. I wonder if this is his subconscious. Mind your head, Agnes. Ouch! Coast clear yet? It depends. It depends? It depends on what? It depends on how you feel about severed human heads. Not that good, to be perfectly honest. Then keep your eyes shut. We're almost done here. I see a pitch. It might say bitch, but it looks like pitch. No thanks. This is crazy, but this message carved on the head, it makes me think I should use it for something. You're still not looking, are you? Why? Is it okay to look now? No. No. Nothing to see here. Nothing at all. Mm, of course. Maybe that's his innocence? I don't fucking know. All that's left of her is this lump of fat. See, she doesn't close her eyes for that? Fuck out of here. And it's basically like. doing this whole shit. Do I have all the ingredients? 
I probably have all the ingredients. Let's look at the invitation, the receipt. A smoothie, my fattening smoothie recipe. Deep fried belly fat, a pint of castor oil, glass of spirit, one human head, and oregano, one leaf. Blend together and enjoy. I mean, I don't want to enjoy. Maybe we shouldn't fuck with teacup. Lucifer. Bone. Time to make this shit. Make this shit. At least she's gonna get high before she die. dies. Die. Need a little past tense. Can you put those. You should put. You gotta put cigarettes in here. I don't know why he didn't. Uh, give me a sec. So, you're cooking us dinner now? No. It's not for us. Oh, good. Good. Because you're not really meant to fry things in castor oil, you know. No. I think I'll try anyway. Oil is oil? I just can't stick my hand in there. Hey, I found this fork in the house with all the coffins. You might want to use it for whatever you're doing there. Thanks. You're welcome. This is where shit's gonna turn. Sour. Fuck. What you doing there, Joe? Just doing what needs to be done. Is that... is that a human head? You know, we're not here for fun. If this is what she wants... I'm gonna give it to her. Is this the same thing he was saying? Like, you know, if this is what she wants, I don't think this is really what she wants. Sort of saying. I don't know. Well. I'm sorry for freaking out like that, but that grinding noise, it was too much. I 
I know. But remember, we're doing this for Ivy. Yeah, I know. She'd better be worth it. Come on, then. And don't forget to take your smoothie. Hey, look. I didn't bring you to life. I didn't do this. What if, like, each person's, like, part of, part of, like, Joe? Or, like, everybody. Not everybody, but... People who represent Joe and re re uh, who represent Joe, but also those who represent not Ivy, but another part of aspect of Joe. Like his wife is dealing with some things. He probably started with a mental illness because of Ivy, because he's so infatuated her, so in love in with her that. You know, he wants to help her out so much that he is harming her. Maybe she got spooked by the explosion in the bathroom. No, not spooked. Did you notice that Harrison's body went missing from the home? I bet it's got something to do with her. You think she took it? But where? Harrison's room? The one on the second floor? There's only one way to find out. Let's go. Or it's like... This sort of his mental state? He, he's somewhere in the mental state like of limbo. Not exactly in his own limbo, but it has a connection in his apartment. Which is connected to the queen, queen of maggots. If I could put that out correctly. That's if I can put it correctly. Ivy! You're alive! What's wrong with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. Ivy. Just there. On the floor. Really? Where? I can't see anything. She was there just a minute ago. I saw her. She's torn in half. Joe, you're either losing the plot or... You really love her, don't you? She wanted me to let her go, but I just couldn't do it. No matter what, I could never stop loving her. The thing with us women is that sometimes we say one thing and mean exactly the opposite. Did you ever notice? Well, yeah, I guess. I wasn't there, so I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she didn't want you to go. Then I was right for once. <laughs> I'd give you a medal if I had one, but I don't, so how about a fist bump? Sure. Would you like to have avocado with that? No? All right. I like mess with my customers. They're funny. I'd be like, oh, you want some of the extra? No, I don't like any extra. I'm like, all right, I'll get you on your payday. More than likely, you're gonna get that motherfucking extra. And then when they come on pay, they guess what? They're having that motherfucking extra. I sneaked it to it. Like, here you go. Oh, it's you. Hello. Come in, come in. Oh, aren't you going to say hello, darling? We bought visitors. We must forgive Harrison. Feeling a bit poorly today. Sophie, this man is dead. Dead? <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, not alive. 
dead as a doornail. Keep going. <laughs> oh, you're so silly. He'll sleep it off and he'll be right as rain. <laughs> I've got something for you. Oh, how nice. What is it? I found this recipe for a smoothie. <gasps> My secret recipe? Oh, I couldn't remember where I'd left it. Well, I've got it and I made it for you. Sweet. It's been one crazy day. Oh, I'm ravenous. I... I should be on a diet, but... I can start one tomorrow, right? Just don't tell Harrison. You must forgive Harrison. He's feeling a bit odd. Ah, poof, it's gonna disappear. Mm, so good. Are you feeling all right? Yes. Wait, I... I don't know. It's a funny aftertaste in my mouth. What was that castor oil? Do you have a kind of... <laughs> oh. Oof. My stomach. I feel sick and bloated. What's happening to me? What have we done, Joe? did what we had to do. She had that young oregano. Joe, do you realize how hard it is to wash blood off these carpets? <sighs> We just can't carry on like this. It's time for a serious talk. I'm headed back to my office upstairs. Please come and see me. I have a proposition for you. What if I'm not interested? You will be. Trust me. Joe, whatever she's got to say, do not trust this woman. Yeah? I just feel it. She's not... A real person. Like you don't say. Well, I'm gonna stop right here and we'll continue on for this bossy ass bitch, this manager. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Ciao.